What's up guys, my name is Case and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing the Joby Gorillapod 3K kit. So real quick, some of the features that are on the outside of the box before I unbox it. It's supposed to hold up to 6.6 .6 pounds or 3 kilograms. So it has these flexible rings around each part of the tripod as well as rubberized rings on the bottom for better hold, but I'll just explain that better and show you whenever I open it up. So here we go. Let the record show, this is my first time opening this. Give some instructions. A plastic box. And the tripod. Okay. There goes that. Alright. So here it is. So on the top you have your camera mount and the plate to support it. And what I didn't know and what I now know is that there's a level so you know when your camera is level or not level. Right here if you unscrew this piece you can swivel this left and right so if you were already had your camera set up in a good location and didn't want to move the whole tripod you could just twist I mean unscrew that and rotate your camera that way okay so another reason I really like this tripod is because this piece is removable so you put this piece on the bottom of your camera and you can attach it to the tripod or if you need to take it off and get a handheld shot, then you can leave it on the bottom of your camera, take the shot, and then just slide it right back into the top. Anyways, all of these joints feel really sturdy. It, they could hold on to literally anything. But anyways, I'm about to take the camera that I'm filming on, put it on here, and go find a few things to hook it on so I can show you that it works. All right, so we're outside. Here's a standard tripod use of the camera if you were filming, talking, doing whatever. Real quick, like I mentioned, you have on the back the level so that you know if your camera is level or not. So you unscrew this and then twist it and turn it, then tighten the piece back up and you're good to go. So another great use that a lot of people use this tripod for is for vlogging. So you can twist it and hold it out. And if you have a flip out screen, that makes it even better. It's really easy to use and to hold and it's really sturdy. It's not going to fall off. All you have to do to get the camera off is to click this front button right here and then just pull back and you can take whatever videos you need to and then just slide it back on, wait for it to click in, and then you're good to go. So this is a Nikon D5300 and with the setup I have with the 18-55 to 55 lens on the front is almost at 2 pounds, which is way under, under the limit. So your results may be slightly different from mine, but you'll get the idea. So this is just strapped on to the railing of a deck works really good it's sturdy it's not it's not going to move here it is attached to just a random pole once again the level on the back still works and the camera is in good shape here it is on an uneven surface like a rock here it is attached to a tree because of all these small little joints you can really get creative with where you put it and, and you can pretty much find a place to put it anywhere around you all right i'm back inside real quick i just want to sum up a few things so maybe one of the downsides that i see right now and this is probably just because it's brand new um this it was a little difficult to pull off sometimes with the camera um these are a little tight right now but that'll loosen up over time other than that, it's a great tripod. It feels great. Everything feels really sturdy. 
it's it's definitely worth the money. I found mine at Best Buy on sale for sixty dollars, and I think originally it's eighty. So it's definitely worth it, whether you're vlogging or an outdoor photographer or a travel videographer. I'll put a link below to the tripod. This is a great choice. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like button below. If you haven't already subscribed, make the red button turn green. Not green, gray. And if you want to see a video where I was able to use this for time lapse and for daily vlog, you can check it out right up there. Right there. All right, thanks for watching. See ya. I'm not sure if this would work, but wouldn't that be cool?